Well, in southern Utah now, the Hurricane Police Department asking for the public's help this evening. They need help finding possible suspects that were caught on camera after seven different burglaries at construction sites, amounting to $50,000. Well, ABC4 Southern Utah correspondent Jordan Verdadero has more on that. Hurricane police say at least two men are believed to be involved in the construction site burglaries that happened just a couple nights ago along 600 North and in the Elm Valley areas. We had a string of seven construction sites that had their trailers that were left on site with tools in them get broken into, locks cut off. Officer Dan Raditz says the seventh construction site had a camera capturing these possible suspects who reportedly chose places away from homes. We were adding things up and it's about $50,000 worth of tools um, that were taken between the six other construction sites. Police are asking anyone with items at construction sites to record serial numbers for their tools to make it easier to locate valuables that can possibly be sold to pawn shops. I don't necessarily believe these people are from our local area and so to get the information out as, po as soon as we could to have anybody looking for them. Raditz says these individuals may be charged with at least two third degree felony charges for each site they hit. Due to the dollar amount, he says it could even be a second degree felony. For neighbors to be on the lookout, just kind of keeping an eye out for things, especially if you're around new constructions, things that just aren't normal. Um, Cars driving by more frequently than not. Raditz says he suggests people keep cameras at larger construction sites that contain valuables and report any losses immediately. Reporting in Hurricane, I'm Jordan Verdadero, ABC4 News. Thank you, Jordan. Well, police are asking anyone with information about these individuals to contact Hurricane Police Departments. Again, the number there at the bottom of the screen. We'll also have that information on our website at abc4.com.